Hello and welcome back to the Hairy Housewife YouTube channel. You a beautiful lot at home. Now, are you looking for a new pressure washer? Are you looking for something that's not gonna break the bank? Or have you already bought one of these and you're just looking for a little bit more information on how to upgrade it? Then stay tuned. Hello and welcome back, you beautiful lot at home. And today we are talking about this powerful, compact Yard Force 135 bar, 1800 watt pressure washer. Now this pressure washer isn't going to break the bank. 85 pound I paid for this. Usually it's around about 100 pound. You can get it from Homebase, you can get it from Amazon. You can also get it from the Yard Force website. Just pop it into Google, Yard Force compact 135 bar pressure washer and it will pop up. Now, why did I buy the Yard Force pressure washer? Well, I didn't. The wife bought it for me as a gift because she knew I really, really wanted this. Now, when I see it back in January, I fell in love with this machine, not only for the color and the fact it looks like a Star Wars droid because it is compact. I haven't seen this sort of design in the market before and it is powerful. Now, I'm always looking for a nice little powerful pressure washer that doesn't break the bank. Now, my Bosch was only 110 bar, this is 135 and I haven't seen many other compact pressure washers, if any, on the market that come to that sort of power. Now the only drawback with this machine is it does only have a 360 litre an hour flow rate, which isn't awful. Um, some of the other machines on the market I've seen at about 390 and I have seen some a lot less. So this is sort of in the middle, it's sort of a mid range litre per hour flow rate but it does have an 1800 watt motor, 135 bar. This machine is gonna be strong and powerful and it's gonna do the job that I want it to do. Now in the box, you do get this extension bar for your trigger gun. You get this trigger gun. Now on the bottom of the trigger gun, you do have the lock for the handle. So you can lock that trigger so it can't be pulled by mistake. And you can unlock it and give it a pull. And also you have this rotating turret on the end of the lance. So you can turn your spray pattern around with absolute ease without having to go anywhere near the nozzle. Now in the box here, we pull out the first nozzle that comes with the pressure washer and it is a very flow nozzle. Now with the adjustments on the outside of the nozzle, you can turn the pressure and the flow of the nozzle up or down. And the second nozzle you get in the box is this, what everybody likes to call a turbo nozzle. Now it has a zero degree angle jet that spins around at force that gives you probably about a 20 to 30 degree sort of fan, but it is a powerful jet nozzle that is ideal for cleaning patios, walls, masonry, brickwork, anything that isn't painted because if you put it on a painted surface, I'm pretty sure it's gonna do some damage to that paint and it might even take it off. Now also in the box, you get the coupling for your standard hose that comes with this nice little mesh filter that you pop inside the fitting and then you screw it onto the pressure washer. Now the pressure washer itself does have a few hidden compartments on it. One compartment on the side is for the power cord. And if you flip it round to the back, you can see we have a nice little compartment on the back which stores the hose for the machine. Now this is a six meter hose. So if you're using this out the box without any upgrades, six meter hose is generally enough to do most jobs that you want at home or even cleaning your car. Now on the front of the machine, you also get these two little storage compartments to pop your lance and the lance extension in. You can also turn the machine a back round and you can store your two nozzles in the back with the hose. Now, while I was in the back popping these two nozzles in, I also see this little device that I see in the manual, but I couldn't see anywhere in the box and it's stored nicely in the back. Now, all it is, is a long needle with a big plastic end on it, so you can unblock any of your nozzles if they get clogged up, if you need to. Now, that's the machine out of the box. Now, one thing you might have noticed that I didn't get out of the box and that's not included with this is any sort of foam cannon or soap dispenser device that goes on the end of your lance. Now, that's because if you want a soap dispenser, it is here. Now, you fill this tank up with whatever detergent, your patio cleaner. Um, if you're using it to clean cars, you can buy pressure squash from Dodo Juice. And you can pop that in there and you can use it through the lance itself. However, I know a lot of you at home, like myself, 
also want to be able to snow foam your vehicle with this pressure washer. Now, with pressure washers like this, unbranded ones or brands that not many people are aware of, it's very tricky to find a snow foam cannon for them. However, I have already done the research before buying this pressure washer, so I could tell you guys what will fit and what will work. But we'll get to that a little bit later on. First, let's see how this machine performs with day-to-day -day tasks and how it's intended to be used. Now the machine itself isn't overly heavy and it does come with some wheels on the back. However, I can't see that you would ever need to pull it along because it's a little bit awkward. You'd have to get down low just to drag it. Um, so the wheels on the back to me seem a little bit pointless as it is light enough and easy enough just to pick up and move it round where you want. Now it's time to hook the water up and the lance up to the machine. So the first thing we do before we pop the water on is make sure we have this nice and securely into the machine and screwed on. And then we just take our water fitting on a hose pipe and pop it in like that. And then we remove the cap off there. Now this is where the hose for our lance will go. Now all we need to do is take our hose out the back of the machine, screw it in to the fitting here, making sure you get it on nice and secure. And then we take the other end after taking all the kinks out. Now the problem with these sort of hoses you get with the machines are, to start off with, they are very, very curly. Over time, this will straighten itself out, but they are very, very curly to start off with. So you kind of want to straighten it out before the first use as much as you can. Now you can soak these in warm water. Um, however, I'm not going to worry too much about that and I'll get to the why a little bit later on. But once we've got that sort of straightened out a little bit so it's not going to kink up, we take our little fit in there we pop it in to our lance. And click, we have it in there nice and securely. Now if you want to take that out, all you have to do is pop your finger on the button and pull it out. It's as simple as that. But once we've got that popped in on there, make sure your pressure washer is turned off and go and turn the water on. Now once we have the water turned on, it's time to purge the air out of the machine so it doesn't run dry before using it. Um, you don't want your motor to run dry because it can cause damage. So once you've got the water turned on, with the machine turned off, just unlock the lance, pull the trigger until a steady stream of water comes through. Now don't be fooled, it might start coming through, then it might stop. Give it a good 30 seconds to purge your machine before using it. So now we've got the water flowing through the machine and got rid of any air that may be in the hose and the machine, it's time to pop on the extension lance. Now the extension lance goes in really, really easy. It's kind of sprung loaded. Um, unlike my Bosch, I don't have to fight to get it in and fight to get it out. It is really, really nice and really, really simple to get out. Now once I've got the air out the extension bit as well, it's time to grab the variable nozzle end. And that is in the back of the machine in that nice little cubby hole compartment. And again, this pops in with absolute ease without having to force it. It's nice and easy to get in and out. Now once we've got that in there, it's time to turn the machine on and give it a go. Or it would be if I'd plugged the machine in to the mains. So before you turn the machine on, make sure you have it plugged in to your main socket or extension lead, depending on what you're using. So now I have the cable plugged in, finally it's time to fire the machine up. Now it's a flick of the switch, and away we go. Now it does have a very nice kick to it. Um, I can feel it's got a bit more power than my Bosch pressure washer had. If I pull the trigger now, it's definitely got a nice little kick to it. Now I've got this variable nozzle on. If I turn the nozzle down, you can see it's like having just an open-ended hose pipe. Turn the nozzle back up. and we have full power. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try it on this concrete gravelly bit that's out the front where I park my vehicle. Now grabbing the machine and moving it out of the way again, this is not too heavy, it's not that hard to move. Moving it out of the way, and I'm gonna start just by pressure washing this little area in front of my car. Now, as you can see, as I start the pressure wash up on the ground, you can see it's removing the dirt 
that is on there with absolute ease. And I could feel the pressure washer, again, kicking back a lot stronger than my Bosch did. Now again, this machine seems to be a lot quieter than the Bosch. This is 92 decibels, and I believe my Bosch was around about 98. So this is a smidge quieter than the Bosch, but it is very, very noticeable. Now, not only is the variable pressure head good for cleaning patios, masonry and brick, it's also ideal for rinsing off your car before going in to a contact wash or rinsing off snow foam. We'll get to snow foam a little bit later on with this machine. Also, you can rinse off garden furniture or outdoor kids' toys, and this makes it absolutely easy to do with this 20 degree nozzle turned to high pressure. It just makes it such a dream to do. And again, this has so much more power than my 110 bar Bosch pressure washer. I'm really, really impressed with the strength of this machine. So now one thing I would like to note about this, when you do turn this all the way as far as you can down, you'll notice it start to flutter. Now this isn't anything to worry about. Basically, when you turn that nozzle all the way down, it activates the tank on the machine and tells it to start putting the detergent through. So it's kind of like the detergent setting on the Lance. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen it, when you buy like a short trigger gun and they come with all the little nozzles, you'll see the black one classed as a detergent nozzle. That's because a lot of pressure washers like this won't put the detergent through when it's on full power, but when it's on low power or low pressure, it'll start to put the detergent through. And those detergent black nozzles usually are very, very open and very, very low pressure. So that's what they're for. Um, on this, again, the detergent tank won't kick in until you turn it all the way down. Now, the next thing I wanna try is the turbo nozzle. Now, one thing you will notice about the turbo nozzle, because it is very, very powerful and very, very strong, you'll notice it won't fit in to the end of the gun itself without the extension on. It just won't do this, and this is down to regulation. So you will have to use the extension bar for this turbo nozzle. So we're gonna stick the extension bar back in and pop the turbo nozzle on. As you can see, as easy as that. And we're gonna again, give it a go on this bit of ground underneath my feet. Now, as I start to use this turbo nozzle, you can see it is making absolute mincemeat of the dirt that is on the ground, and it's cutting through that quicker than the turbo nozzle I had on my Bosch machine. This feels a lot more powerful, and it looks like it's doing so much more of a better job than my Bosch machine did at removing that dirt that is on the ground with the turbo nozzle. Now, it used to take a couple of passes with the turbo nozzle, on my Bosch machine when the ground was this dirty. Again, with this, it's doing it with absolute ease. Now again, with the turbo nozzle, fantastic on brickwork, masonry and hard surfaces. And also maybe if you have hard plastic like this little rattan storage tub I have here. However, you do need to be careful again on painted surfaces of vehicles, anything that has paintwork that could be damaged or ruined by such a high pressure nozzle. Again, this is a zero degree nozzle that spins around at probably about 20 to 30 degree angle and it can seriously cause problems if you spray it onto say fences, gate posts and things like that. Um, I'll just show you a quick example now of what not to do. So plenty of times I have gone to people's houses where they have had maybe not a turbo nozzle, but that zero degree angle nozzle and they've tried to clean their patio with it and you can see straight lines that are in there and they are very deep and you can see the dirt's gone, but it's a nasty straight line. And again, with fences, you see swirly circles and stuff like that where people have hit it with a pressure washer on too high power, just like this. So it's always best to keep turbo nozzles to hard surfaces like concrete, bricks, and maybe hard unpainted plastics. Now there we have it, that is my first use of this Yard Force 135 bar compact pressure washer. I've got to say, I am very, very pleased and shocked at how good this little machine is. Now when you use an unbranded machine or an unnamed machine or machines that are not very well known, you're always a little bit nervous, are they gonna be good or are they gonna flop? This thing performed. 
Not only does it feel solid, it feels great to use, and it does a fantastic job with the standard lance and nozzles that come with it. Now this machine does come standard with a three year warranty, as long as you register it within the first 28 days. If you don't, you get a standard of two year warranty. Um, however, you know, that's not bad. My Bosch machine had a three year warranty with it. Yes, I know there's people out there gonna say there's machines out there with 10 years warranty, but those machines can cost considerably a lot more than this 85 to 100 pound yard force pressure washer. And it really did work and it did a fantastic, fantastic job. Now look, it doesn't come with one of those lock-in snow foam cannon type soap dispensers that a lot of pressure washers come with. Some of them even now come with a proper fully fledged car snow foam cannon. This one doesn't. You've got that tank on the top. Yes, you could put snow foam in there. Yes, you could put detergents in there, um, but it's not gonna be as good as using a proper snow foam cannon because again, like the soap dispensers you get with some of the smaller pressure washers, it will come out very, very watery, very, very thin, and you won't get that snow foam effect that you are looking for. Now, if you skip to this part of the video, this will be where you'll see the upgrades we can do to this machine to make it a detailer and ballot as little dream pressure washer. Now, remember, this comes with that little soap dispenser tank on the top, which can be no good if you want to snow foam the vehicle. So first things first, if you want to add a snow foam cannon to this pressure washer and you're sitting there saying, what fitting do I need? I don't know what fitting I need. I spent a good few days on the internet scrolling through, looking at this pressure washer and finding out which fitting will fit the end of the standard lance on this machine. I found the fitting that will work with the Yard Force pressure washer, and that is a very common Lavor pressure washer fitting. That fits the standard lance for this pressure washer, and they're really, really easy to get hold of. I'll pop the link in the description below. You can get these off Amazon for a few quid. What you wanna do is now use an old snow foam can to show you guys at home. You just wanna pop it on there, take the fitting off that you may already have on it, and screw this one on. Now the reason I'm putting it on an old snow foam cannon is because all mine have the quick connect fitting on them. And I don't really want to take them off because I haven't got any of that white tape left and I need to put tape around them. So I'm using an old one just to show you guys at home. Now once you've got that on there nice and tight, it's time to whack that into your pressure washer lance. Now again, because I am using an old lance, I have lost the bottle for this lance. Now what I used to love about these old style lances is any sort of Coke bottle style bottle will fit onto these lances. So if you've got one of these and you lose a bottle, if you've got a Coke bottle laying around, it will fit. Now all you do is pop it into the end machine and lock it in, like so. And then away we go. Now as you can see, that snow foam cannon works perfectly with this pressure washer, and that is through the level fitting for the standard lance. Now once you've let that snow foam dwell, all you gotta do is pop the cannon out and pop the variable nozzle in. Now I do have a bit of bad news for you if you like to have a short trigger. Although you've got a short trigger gun here, that won't fit in the end of this. Again, like the turbo nozzle without having the extension bar on. So we've got to pop the extension bar on first and then we can pop the nozzle onto the end of that and away we go. Make sure you have it nice and tight and locked into position before trying to spray your car. Now that's the snow foam cannon sorted for the standard trigger gun on the Yard Force pressure washer. What about if you want to get a short trigger gun for the standard hose? Unfortunately, I don't know what fitting will fit that hose yet. I couldn't find it online anywhere, the specifications on the tip on that hose. However, now I have one, I can measure it up and let you guys know at home in the description once I've found one that will fit. What about if you want to put a hose onto this pressure washer, a longer one, or you currently have a pressure washer that has a longer hose and you're thinking, I don't really want to go out and buy a new one. Well, if you do want to buy a new one, the fitting is an M22, so you can buy any hose that screws onto an M22. And then if you buy a hose that, say, has a Neil Flisk end, a Karcher end, a Bosch end, you can then pop your short trigger gun that you buy for that hose on. Now, what about if you already have a 15, 20 meter hose and you're thinking, well, I don't want to go out and buy an M22 hose and like, it's a waste of money, I've already got a long hose. Then I have a great idea that may fix this problem for you. And that is, when I can find it, one of these. Now you may recognize these from being sold 
on the end of a short trigger gun to pop your hose into. Now, if you're like me, the Bosch had the same fitting either end. I know some cartridges do, I know some nil flisks do. I know some have the M22 fitting. If they do, you're well away, just pop your pipe on, job done. But if they don't, you grab yourself one of these for the right hose. And all you need to do is screw this onto the M22 fitting, onto the Yard Force pressure washer, and on pops the hose that you currently have. And also, if you already have a short trigger gun for that hose, you've got the whole setup just for one of these. And that was around about nine pound on Amazon. Now with the hose pipe turned off and the power turned off, it's time to unscrew this off of here. Pop that out. Now let all the water drain out. Now wrap your old pipe up and pop it back in the back. Now when using an attachment like this, it is aftermarket, it isn't designed for the machine. So it's always advisable to use some of this PTFE plumber's tape. It sort of helps create a washer around the thread to help stop water from leaking. So once we have a nice amount of the PTFE tape on there, it's time to screw our aftermarket attachment on. Now you shouldn't need to do this too tightly, hand tight should just be enough. And it's time to pop our Bosch hose in to that fitting. And away we go. We now have our Bosch hose and stubby gun attached to the Yard Force pressure washer. We can go ahead and rinse the car off with absolute ease. And then once you've finished rinsing that vehicle off, it's time to go pop your nozzle off and pop your snow foam cannon on. And again, this is the old hose of my Bosch straight into the Yard Force machine into my Auto Bright direct gun and I've had this again for a year all this hose has been for my Bosch this fitting has been for my Bosch and now I can snow foam my vehicle straight from the yard force through this hose with absolute ease now one thing to remember if you are upgrading from a smaller 110 pressure washer or you do have 1.1 mil orifices in your snow foam cannon make sure you change them to a 1.25 Pressure washers like this, 135 bar, if you put the 1.1 mil orifice in, it will labour, it will make the motor in this struggle and you will burn it out quicker. So make sure to pop a 1.25 mil orifice in so you don't do any damage to your machine. And then once we've let that dwell, you can come in again with your nozzle and just rinse it off. Sorry, Specky and Paul Talk Detailings podcast. If you haven't heard it, go check it out. Your sticker might have got blown off by this pressure washer. Don't worry, I will pop another one back on very soon. And it's as simple as that. Now I can hear you all at home saying, but what about the turbo nozzle? That pressure washer come with a turbo nozzle. Now you haven't got that. Well, in fact, you can buy a turbo nozzle for this pressure washer and I do have one. Let's see how that performs again with this compared to the original. Now don't worry, there is snow foam still left in the vehicle. I will fully rinse it off in just a second. Just wanted to show you this. So I do have this extension rod for my quick release gun and I do have the turbo nozzle on the end. Again, like the one that come with it, you should never put the turbo nozzle onto there because it is a very, very powerful. If you accidentally catch yourself with it, it can be absolutely lethal. So I popped it on my uh, extension and I'm going to try it on the ground to see how it compares to the one that come with it. Now you can see as I start to rinse the ground with the turbo nozzle, it is doing a fantastic job at removing the dirt from the ground. This turbo nozzle is just as powerful as the one that come with the machine and it is doing a fantastic job at removing all that dirt from the ground. Now there we have it, that has been that Yard Force pressure washer. As standard, you can see it comes with some good attachments. The turbo nozzle and the variable nozzle do a very, very good job at cleaning patios and cars. Although it doesn't come with a snow foam cannon, you can use this tank to put detergent in and spray it on your vehicle, then rinse it off. If you haven't seen a detergent for your vehicle like that, go check out Pressure Squash from Dodo Juice. However, 
as you can see, it's easy to find a snow foam attachment to attach to the standard nozzle. Now, the only downside to this is it does come with a six meter hose, which is long enough to do people's patios and your vehicle. You do just have to pick the machine up a couple of times and move it round. However, it is nice, it is powerful, and it does a fantastic job, and it feels really, really solid. One of the main things I was worried about with this machine is this handle. Now, the handle in the photos looks really flimsy, but it is solid, it's nice, and it feels really, really thick and chunky. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break. The machine itself feels nice and solid. The attachments with it. Now the gun does feel a little bit plasticky, but that feels like any other gun I've ever felt before. I'm just used to handling one of the short triggers, but it does feel like it's built well. Now the rest of the machine does feel solid. The hose itself does feel like any other hose you get with sort of a budget range pressure washer. It feels good, it feels solid, but it does feel like you'll be replacing it in maybe a year or two's time anyway. However, I would definitely recommend replacing that hose sooner get yourself a nice long hose for this and one that you can pop a stubby gun on. Again, I will find out what stubby gun will fit the hose that comes with this as standard. However, I would definitely recommend upgrading the hose because it saves you moving the pressure washer around, it gives you a better quality hose, and it also gives you the advantage of having that stubby gun on there. Your quick connect like fit-ins, your quick connect snow foam gun, it makes life a lot easier. But what do I feel about this pressure washer? So far, I am in love with it. It's got so much power. The force is strong with this one. It's got so much oomph compared to my Bosch. I really, really like this. It looks fantastic and it just feels fantastic. There's not really that much bad I can say about it. I mean, if I had to deal with it every day and use the standard attachments and the standard hose, then maybe it might grind on me a little bit. But for someone that's going to use it often, someone that's going to be into detailing, someone that's going to use it regular, will definitely upgrade that hose and upgrade to a stubby gun. So that's not really too much of a worry. Um, other than that, the machine feels quality. It's a lot quieter than my Bosch, 92 decibels. My Bosch was 98. It just feels like an all-round good machine. So if you are looking for a pressure washer, you don't want to pay out hundreds. You want something that's not going to break the bank, something that's going to work for you then this could be the machine. Now, I haven't tested this over months. This is the first time I've used it, the first time I've tested it. I don't know how it's going to go in two or three years' time. I don't know if it's going to last, but it does have a two to three year guarantee on it, depending on when you register it. However, I will warn you now, if you do modify this like I have with this, and you do put different hoses on it and do different guns and different nozzles, it may avoid your warranty. So again, that is down to you if you want to upgrade the parts on this or not. Just bear that in mind. And bear that in mind if you do have to make a warranty claim, what you tell them you've used it for. Because if you've used it for trade, you've used it for commercial use, again, your warranty is not covered. So guys, look, this has been the Yard Force 130 bar pressure washer. I am absolutely in love with this. At the moment, I would say it's a fantastic machine. Would I recommend you trying it? Again, I haven't tried this over two or three years. But right now, I think it's a fantastic quality little machine. And if you are looking for something that's not gonna cost the earth, something that is, you know, easy on the bank, this definitely could be the one for you. Again, you're not gonna be getting, you know, expensive K4, K5 cartridge quality. You are gonna be getting a nice budget pressure washer, but it does feel good quality and it doesn't feel nasty and cheap like some of the other cheaper ones on the market for a very similar price point. Guys! I have been the Hairy Housewife. You guys have been great, and I'll see you all again very, very soon.